Yo, hello, it's Reva here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the 3D noise text you guys saw in the beginning and uh, if you guys want to support me I have a website so feel free to check that out and uh, yeah let's get right into this. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is to make a uh, new composition of course, choose your resolution settings and stuff like that. I'm, I usually go with uh, FHD and 24fps as you guys can see here. But yeah, when you've done that, you're going to make a text layer. So you're going to go up here to the horizontal type tool, click here. And here you're going to type whatever you want your 3D text layer to say. So I'm going to make it say noise. These are the settings here I will be using for the text. So copy that if you want to use the same. And uh, you are also going to make a solder layer after that. And I have already made one here. And we're going to add a effect called element 3D here. Boom. And you can hide the, this noise layer for the moment by pressing the either. And uh, yeah, here we're going to open up custom layers, custom text and masks. And then here on path layer one, you're going to choose noise or whatever your uh, text says. And then here, you're going to open up scene setup and we are going to press extrude here to see our text. I'm going to be increasing the Babel scale to 15. And then I'm going to go over here to presets, physical, and then choose Chrome. So we get a nice shine on the text here. And when, you, when you're done with that, you can press okay up here. And now we're going to animate the text a little bit. So I'm going to open up group one here, particle look and particle replicator and then rotation here. So we can start off with the rotation and at zero seconds, we're going to press the clock here on the X rotation. And on the Y rotation, we're also going to press the clock here, but we're going to drag this down to 90 degrees, just like that. And we can also keyframe the particle size and set it to zero in the beginning. And then we're going to go to five seconds, which is how long this 3D text animation is going to be. And here we're going to set the particle size to 10.4. So we get something like that. And then we are also going to uh, change the Y rotation to plus 25 degrees just like that and we're also going to change the x rotation to minus 14 just like that and now we're going to change the graph here to make this animation go a lot more uh, cleaner than just this looks pretty boring so i'm going to make it go a little bit faster with the graph here so you open up group one here particle replicator rotation and then particle look to get all of these and we can start off uh, with these keyframes so you're going to uh, select all of them and to press f9 and you can go with the x rotation first here we're going to drag this one all the way down here so it becomes faster in the beginning and it's uh, going to be slower in the ending and then go to the sec uh, to the Y rotation, open it up, and here we're going to drag this one up instead. Looks pretty clean. And then we're going to go down here to particle look, mark both of the keyframes, press F9, and then open up the graph editor. And here we're going to do the same as we did before, drag this one up, just like that. So now you get an animation that looks something like this instead. Kind of explosive and fast in the beginning and then it slows down in the ending that looks good and the next settings we're going to be messing around with is going to be first of all uh, the ambient occlusion so we're going to open up the render settings here and then ambient occlusion enable ao and then you're going to set the ssao intensity to 50 so we get a, a lot more realistic shadow look here on the text and we can also enable motion blur on this icon here so the animation looks cleaner and you guys can see on the reflection here it has kind of like hard edges here on the reflection so we want we want to fix that and uh, we're going to open up physical environment rotate environment and here change the settings a little bit to uh, 95 here on the y rotation so it looks something like this instead and uh, yeah, that should be good for the 3D text. Looks insanely clean in my opinion. But yeah, we're going to add a new uh, adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And then here we're going to add a effect called BCC Mosaic. And here I'm going to be dragging the pixel pixelate X to zero and then scramble to 100. And then I'm going to be keyframing the scramble seed from zero there 
to 5 seconds to the max, 32,000. And then we're going to change here uh, in the apply mode to darker to get something like this instead. It only affects the text for a moment. And now we're going to make a new adjustment layer again, so Control alt y And we want to make this text a lot brighter uh, than it is. So we're going to add an effect called the Deep Glow. And here we are going to increase the exposure to 2.26, something like this. And then drag down the threshold to zero. Change the blending mode to add and add smooth blending as well. So now the text is a lot more brighter than before. Yeah, I would maybe go to free on the exposure to really make it uh, visible. A new adjustment layer, Control alt y And here we're going to add black and white. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm adding black and white because it's already black and white uh, and that is because I'm going to be adding a overlay in the background so it doesn't look so empty this whole uh, animation and I'm going to be using a overlay from my overlay pack so yeah if you guys want to get that uh, it is available on my website in my particle overlay pack so yeah feel free to check that out so yeah this is how it looks like and now we're going to drag this one under all of the layers here. Boom. So now it becomes affected with the noise and all of that. And we want to make this overlay go in the same pace as the text animation is doing. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt T on the overlay layer. Go to 5 seconds and you're going to press the keyframe here. And then we're going to mark both of the keyframes. Press F9. Open up the graph. And here once again we're going to drag this one up. All the way up to there and it's going to be uh, lagging in the, in the ending here and how to fix that is to go here and then click there and then click there again the frames is now like merging together and it makes it look uh, smooth instead of laggy so yeah it's going to look something like this in the ending insanely clean in my opinion i'm not gonna lie uh but yeah that's I made the 3D noise text and if you guys want to support me, I have a website, feel free to check that out to get the overlay I used in this video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, give me some new ideas on tutorials I can make and don't forget to join my Discord server. And I will see you guys soon, take care and have a nice day.